Spider-Man. Dude's had so many good games over the years, it was pretty hard to pick just one for this list. Spider-Man for the PS1, Spider-Man 2 for the PS2, Maximum Carnage, Ultimate Spider-Man, Enter Electro, Edge of Time, Web of Shadows. If I was a more predictable girl, I would have picked last year's Spider-Man for the PS4, but seeing as I like talking about semi-obscure stuff from time to time, here's my personal favorite Spider-Man game, Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. Unlike literally every other Spider-Man game, well, apart from Edge of Time, but that game's weird, instead of having you play one version of everyone's favorite web-slinger, this game gives you no less than four. Amazing, which is our mainstream Spidey, Ultimate, 2099, and Noir. The basic plot is that everyone's favorite fishbowl, Mysterio, tries to steal the tablet of order in chaos, only to be shattered and spin its fragments over multiple realities, forcing Amazing Spider-Man to work with his counterparts from other dimensions to basically save all of existence. Now, to keep things interesting, each dimension has its own gameplay style and graphical style, and all mesh together incredibly well. The amazing levels look essentially like comic book panels brought to life and play like a traditional beat-em-up, with a focus on crowd control with the web attacks. 2099 is a very Tron-like cyberpunk aesthetic and has a much faster feel to the gameplay compared to the three. Noir looks like a grainy detective movie, even being mostly monochrome, and the gameplay here primarily focuses on stealth. And Ultimate has a graphical style ripped straight from the PS2 Ultimate Spider-Man game, and his gameplay is a more hack and slash than the others, as you unleash the power of the black suit on your unsuspecting enemies. And no, it's not a symbiote. Well, not in this dimension at least. Each level also sees you going after a particular member of Spidey's Rose Gallery, and Deadpool and Juggernaut for some reason, with each level being themed around them, having tons of banter and interaction with the corresponding Spider-Man. Doc Ock was an interesting gender flip take on the character before Into the Spider-Verse did it, Deadpool is just as hilarious as ever, Kraven was a welcome surprise for a first villain, Vulture is all kinds of creepy, and Carnage. Oh man, did this game do my favorite Spider-Man villain right! Carnage is more twisted and monstrous than he's ever been, and I love it! Wrap this up with a series of optional challenges that let you gain points to unlock new abilities and new suits, such as the original noir concept suit, the Mangaverse suit, and even Spider-Man from Marvel 1602! And we have one of the perfect games for Spider-Man fans.